cringe. <laughs> They're kissing each other. A lot of our interns keep dying off. Friendly king. They immediately just poo in it. He's got a little mange. I'm just gonna kiss him nonstop. He got them wise eyes. Old Uncle Ben's gonna have a heck of a water bill this month. Look how happy these ducks are. He's running, he's running. Cause he's my son. Focus on my Sigma grind set of being a single father. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day. Look at this. This is my adorable barn where I have all my cringe ah uh ah -uh prairie dogs. El Cringe. And that's cringe right there for some reason in this corner. Look, you can tell it's cringe because, oh, 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 oh. Here's my adorable Biggerton Ounserton the fifth. Ah, oh, look at this little man. And give me another yell. Give me another adorable baby. Beautiful boy. Yell, you cringe. <laughs> Yeah! And Mrs. Ounce is over here just vibing and chewing on stuff. They have a little tunnel system that goes all the way around here for some reason. And look, they're kissing each other. That's what they do whenever they greet each other to make sure they're each other's friends. Cringe has really come out of her shell now. She's a lot more friendly. And I have this little chewable log for them now, which is fun. They have infinite fresh water. But look how beautiful all this is, you guys. Now, we haven't had any rain in a while, but I think everything's still green because of the dew we've been getting. But boy, do I have a lot of things to show you guys today. Come on, let's go. This is my collection of sus imposter amogus things. I have four tables here for birthday parties. And we've already had two here, but then, but friends. And look how healthy this grass is for no reason. I see Kevin. Look at him. Oh, he's running. He's running. Good morning, new nugget. And not only do we have this fresh, delicious pool here, but we also have this little adorable pool with a little DeBaber, a handsome little man known as DeBaber. So as you can see, he's got that beautiful little nose with all kinds of different little patterns and spots on it. He's also got these adorable little toes here that are just for grooming also guys i've been seeing oh look he was yawning i've been seeing poppy's babies crawling around here so if you guys see any in the videos let me know in the comments if you see poppy or any of her baby look at this cringe ah uh, ah uh, boy chewing on my swim trunks with his cringe ah uh, ah uh, face oh my adorable baby boy say what you will about how cringe the baby is and how he could kill me when i turn 77 it's all worth it just to have this adorable little friend here this old man's about four and a half feet tall now kind of cringe tb8 he just gets bigger and bigger by the day but that's okay because he's my son give me let me give you a kiss boring bore to you you're boring we're leaving boy do i have something very big to show you today old uncle ben's gonna have a heck of a water bill this month because i accidentally left the hose on now there's good news and bad news to that the bad news is my water bill is gonna be like a hundred dollars more the good news though is that we actually have a full pond oh little lizards over there but yeah guys this is actually what the pond is supposed to look like in a perfect world and it'll probably look like this during the rainy season in the late fall and early winter but look how happy these ducks are you guys pretty soon we're gonna have some guys come out put some rocks out here and then put an actual liner in all this other stuff but for now it is just so nice that they get to enjoy this water is nice and clean now i am going to be buying duckweed for this uh oh looks like there's hornets here too that are drinking the water we need to kill all these hornets they're stealing the water from my bees there's not enough water to go around for all these animals but look how precious this little call duck is and for some reason our one little injured friend over there doesn't really like to swim but this is awesome i really love this i'm looking forward to having a day where this is all clear nice clean water with a little waterfall coming down here and we're also going to have an adorable little creek running through the front of these woods and there will be plenty of fresh water for everyone but for now we just have cringe mud holes now i'm going to show you guys the bees they're looking pretty cute today they tilled up all the land behind us i think they're going to grow another crop this late in the year the cool thing about texas is when august september rolls around we have actually a second growing season sadly my little villager farming project did not work they both passed away i just keep forgetting to put food in here for them and a lot of our interns keep dying off that way but before they passed away she was able to conceive and procreate and i think this one's going to be a blacksmith so we lucked out this is the first child ever born on the urban rescue ranch from our villager farm i'm going to go ahead and keep this guy and he's going to eventually be a blacksmith for us these wood chips do a great job of keeping all the weeds from touching this thing and they seem to be thriving i'm going to give them a little bit more nectar and what's cool is they still have all these flowers to suck on we still don't have anything in here yet i'm waiting until we have a sprinkler system back here and the only 
only other thing I need to do today is check on our babies. Big, beautiful pecan tree and our adorable a baby boys in here. Cringe. All right, I'm going to have to just catch all these guys. I'm just going to kiss them nonstop for like 20 to 40 minutes. Every day, I'm just going to be kissing all these adorable little babies nonstop. Goodbye, children. All of our rat type chicks are now massive and they're doing very, very well. They're super healthy and they're going to be really great for the winter. It's a lot warmer right now than it should be for this time. As these guys continue to grow, they're going to become a lot more cold hardy. And I think all of them are officially past the point of danger zone. They're all past the danger zone now, so we can move them around. I don't think they're going to be eating anything stupid anymore. Back up, you cringe. Ah, uh -uh, nay, nay. <laughs> nay, nay, bird. But yeah, all these guys are doing really well, and there's like, oh, cringe, nay, nay, bird. Cringe. Cringe, ah, uh ah, -uh, Kevin. Okay, son, I love you, Kevin. I'm not gonna starve you, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for you. As you can see, these ostriches are friendly, but not friendly enough. I think they'll eat out of my hands when they're hungry. I'd love to be able to just give them a big old kiss on the lips. But it is nice to see them run. Oh, big rig. It is nice to see them running around having fun here. When ostrich chicks get the zoomies, they just kind of run around. And they wave their feathers and dance like that. But for the most part, these guys are all really friendly with me. The good thing is, though, getting ostrich ostrich chicks to like you is as easy as just feeding them and it's as easy as just spending time with them on a daily basis don't really need to do anything crazy or fancy but now that things are getting a little bit less hot here i can go ahead and do that more often also the emus just love their water for some reason they'll sit in there and everything now they're getting a little too big to sit in there good morning and soldier boy is still my curious little son real fans of the channel remember that he was raised inside my living room he hatched out all by himself so we had to raise him with us and with a little chick these other little rat tights grew up with each other and that's why they're a little bit more skittish of me but the best thing is watching them all grow up together in relative peace and harmony kevin's the only racist one of the bunch over here and he's the only person that doesn't tolerate the other species especially now they're drinking i can sneak right up on them maybe even touch their behind these guys both here started off at the same size and now this one's significantly bigger because it didn't have a curled toe. See, this is what the emus do, they're cringe. They just kind of sit in the water like that and then they take a bath. And they also be pooping in there too so nothing else can drink it. These guys are basically the same things as T-Rexes. They just have no hands and big old reptilian feet. But all right, this little guy just pecked my bum. Good morning, little Kevin. Well, 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 well. Look who came up to drink some water. It's funny how they don't don't mind that he's sitting in there too how about you stop pecking on my batman shorts cringe you'd be pecking right on there huh i'm gonna let these guys do their thing how's about you either get out of there or let me pet you let me pet you wow friendly king okay i don't mind you being in there especially if you let other people drink this has been a sigma male moment we still have some of these melons left and while they're still a little bit fresh i'm gonna give them to these boys after i change the cappy water i'm gonna give these guys some water come on now don't be cringe come eat your water whoa is that poppy's baby in the wild poppy's baby eating a water in the wild whoa i lost it shimmy shimmy coco puff sigma male moment number three 32 bottle and sell capybara poop on etsy that's right guys i am bottling and selling my capybara poop on etsy now because i'm a sigma male girl boss and as the kids say i'm on my grind set i do feel it necessary to hose down the poop on the ground after i flip it but that goes right back into the ground to nourish all this grass that they're eating then i refill this baby boy and also they always have fresh water that they don't poop in right here and at every point of the day there's somewhere where they can get consistent shade and while this thing fills up i I usually like to do a little Fortnite dance. But most importantly, I like to feed and support the local wildlife. This little fella included. Oh, they're going to their pool now. How about you take a little dip for Uncle Ben's vlog? There we go. A little dip for the vlog arena. Are you immediately pooping right now? Yes, you are. What is your little cringe face doing? Just eat the water. Oh, shimmy, shimmy, Coco Pop. You see, guys, I fill up a fresh thing of water for them, and they immediately just poo in it. But it's okay. Look at all that. And that's why it only takes one day for this thing to get nasty. That's it for now, though, guys. I'm going to focus on my Sigma grind set of being a single father. As you can see here, I'm going to start raising this baby. But until then, we're going to Austin to catch some bats in the caves. There's some endangered salamanders here. We're going to do a catch and cook, try and find some of them, eat them. Turns out they they only come out at night and this is the fine if you go in there this is Bodden springs is a natural pool right in downtown austin take a look at that this kelp. bottom part's free and it's way better but it does have dogs pooping in it take a look at these egyptian geese if i wanted to i could just grab them and run out of here but i'm not going to do that because that would freak people out now, this water doesn't need chlorine and it's crystal clear year round because it comes up from 
springs from the aquifer. Now, Egyptian geese are invasive, and you can tell this is just someone's pet that they released here a long time ago. But it's still a beautiful animal, and they get really aggressive when they have babies. But this is a cute little fella. But this is a beautiful gem right in Austin, and I filmed all these people without their consent. Even the lizards here are a little bit more Ooh. friendly and used to people. Normally, if you pull a sloppy move like this, you'll never see them again. But I got it. Look at this adorable baby. My favorite thing about catching reptiles is how they just kind of give up after about a minute of struggling, and then they just accept their fate as being yours. And believe it or not, it doesn't actually hurt to touch these things. Get back here, boy. I also saw this little squirrel that had a terrible case of mange. Let me get really close to him. Yeah, look, he's got mange. Cringe, uh, uh, squirrel with mange. I thought about grabbing him for a video, but we already have a squirrel creature feature, and that mange ain't no joke. But these animals live good lives here. Nobody bothers them, and there's almost no predators. Hey, but next time we come to Austin, we're going to do a catch and cook on these salamanders and some bats in the caves. Till then, though, thanks for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next... Oh, I almost forgot the time. Uh oh!